Hello everybody, welcome to the Northern Lion Live Super Show, the August 7th, Thursday, 2014, in this, the Year of the Donkey Edition. I, as always, am your host, Northern Lion, joined by my esteemed co-host, Rock Lee Smile. It's Thursday afternoon! For once, the intro is indeed correct, it is indeed Thursday afternoon. How you doing, Nick? I'm doing alright, I've been perfecting my timing uh, as the intro runs, because I have all these overlay things that I'm doing at the same time, and I'm not watching your stream, but I want right. to line them up so I come on the screen right about when you're about to start talking, and okay. I don't hear shit. I just randomly pick a time, and I've d gotten it down to like three or four seconds. Now. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's how the... are you? Oh, I'm I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Took you long enough. I'm still battling my nest of wires. I've uh. A pile of wires here. Nest of wires sounds like it could be maybe not like a Dark Souls boss, but like a Dragon's Dogma mini boss, maybe. So it's like a, a run, rung and a half down on the prestige ladder. No offense, meant to Capcom or the Dragon's Dogma fans out there. Or Call of Duty. Prestige. Right. Well, I mean, that's just like game of the year every year. Goatee of the year, even. I feel like sometimes I get painted as like the world's biggest Call of Duty fanboy, which is great because I probably have about a hundred hours across the entire series over like twelve years, and my wow. thoughts on every new edition basically boils down to like, yeah, it's pretty fun to shoot people in this one. Yeah, okay. I don't know. They kind of go wrong though at times when sometimes it isn't so fun to shoot people in that one. Because that's happened a couple of times. I still thought it was pretty fun to shoot people in ghosts. I just, uh, nobody else seemed to like it. So I just feel like I'm the little brother of the group when it comes to, like, shooters. I'm just like, okay, me too. Come on. All right, I'll come around <laughs> with you. Well, now when you're alone, though, it's not as fun. It's only when you got some friends. I've been playing a, a ton, like, a fucking Dota-level amount of Global Offensive. The one thing I miss about... Call of Duty, when I play Global Offensive, is that your grenades actually reliably kill people. Which, nah, it seems like super unfair that you could just like open a map by like pulling a pin out of a grenade and then throwing it in the air and it'll just land and kill somebody. But I kind of miss it as well as someone who's really bad at aiming their gun. You get the noob tube as well. You take your three grenades or whatever you get, or two grenades, you just chuck them up in the air randomly, and then you shoot your two noob tubes off, <laughs> and then you get six kills, and all of a sudden you call in the chopper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the other thing. Anyway, we're not gonna spend this whole. How are we talking about Call of Duty? This... I don't know. It's great fun, man. Why Binding don't we of Isaac. Call of Duty anymore. Binding of Isaac Daily Challenge to start with. <laughs> we're not doing the community remix mod today. We might do the community remix mod in the future. I'm planning on covering the community remix mod on my channel today. We're just doing Vanilla Isaac. Uh, we're playing Cannon Brawl in the middle. If you didn't see uh, Cannon Brawl last week, you're in for a treat. It's gonna be a really fun time. It's kind of a little bit of scorched earth, frantic multiplayer, yeah. competitive tower defense type thing going on. Maybe lasers, probably. Lots of lasers and some banks. And additionally, we're going to be finishing off with a little bit of eye sketch featuring some special guests. Nick, shall we begin? I think it's just the one again. Yeah, you want well, some seeds? Well, no, because it's, it's him and the female version of him, perhaps. Oh, I forgot about the duality. Exactly. Okay. All right. Here we go. Got your window open? Oh, it is open. Ready to right. receive. Whoa, that's really gross. I don't know why I had to take it there. Uh, 993. Okay. 3287. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see I what we got. I pressed okay. I'm ready to begin. Where is medium Tomo? <laughs> there's well, the, big Ruka and small Tomo. There's, there's big no Ruka case. and small Tomo. You're not wrong. All right, Nick, are you ready? Have you started? Yeah, I've just gone to the left, and there's a boss door and a couple of TNT boxes. What do you mean you went to the left? What? Oh, I forgot we go to the right. No, did you... What, what do you mean? Did you start by going to the left? Maybe I have the seeds set up wrong. Did you go to another room before you went to the left? No, I just went to the left, straight up. All right, okay, okay, okay. Did one of us do it wrong? It might have been me. Exit to main menu, enable seeded random. Is that clicked? Yeah, that's clicked. Set seed. I have 993... Three two eight seven. Yeah, that's correct. Are you nine, sure? Nine nine three three two eight seven. That's what I have to. Nine two. nine three three two eight seven. Maybe I put one too few threes in it. Let's try this again. I'm not having a giggle chat. This is for real. Oh, now I have a left available to me, and oh. there's a boss room there. That was my bad. Okay, we're all good then. Put one too few threes in it. Speaking of That's which, right. you know oh, what doesn't have yeah. one, two, few threes in it. I'm sorry I talked over my new subscriber sound. Uh, 
for Northern Loin 69 Tweeter extraordinaire. The new humble mobile bundle does not have too few threes in it, Nick. It has exactly one. Too few threes. You got for some it. reason, that's got like a lot of ease or something, and it makes my tongue do weird things when I say it. Let's see what this uh, item room's about. Oh, it's the the it's like a papoose basically, but it's like a maggot. What a happy smiling maggot looks like a papoose. What the heck is a papoose? Oh, it's when you swaddle the baby. I thought it was like a, a Spanish American breakfast item. Okay. No, no, you're thinking of that other thing that I always forget the name of. It's like a papusa? Uh, not a papusa, not a papaya. Oh, I'll yeah. think of it later. All right, the subscriber sound does totally work. It's just a little quiet. That's fine. It's terrifying, Mag says. <laughs> what is it now? I can't hear it. It's me going, oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. Why is it. it terrifying? I like that. That's a papusa. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> it's just my voice got so low that it's a little, it's a little quiet, I guess. Are you like a baritone if you sing? Dude, I have no idea. Have you heard me sing? Nobody ever cared enough about my singing to, to identify well, my voice. Chad, let's identify Northern Lion's choir voice. Where does he fit? Is he a tenor? Is he a baritone? Is he an alto? Alto? Probably not an alto. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not like an alto or a soprano. Probably not a soprano. If I was a soprano, I'm closer to being James Gandolfini than I am to being a soprano. <laughs> A, I knew there was a joke somewhere in there. <laughs> I'm glad you took it in that direction, because there's a couple ways you could go. That way's tasteful, I guess. Sort of. Sort of. Except he did die. As you could say, having Ruka means you've got a big pussy in the family. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was... What? Oh, yeah. What? Sopranos Cy jokes, man. Sicarios HZ. Up down to... The, it's probably Sicarios Hertz then, I guess, but anyway. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. I uh, wow. I was really I, proud of that joke. I have never seen The Sopranos, Nick. So uh, I was it, a character named Big Pussy, and I made the connection between Big Ruka and Big Pussy. It basically, just sounded like you were being super vulgar for no reason. No, or, I would never. <laughs> We've been doing the show for a while. You know, I never do that. That's true. Your vulgarity is is reserved super low. usually. It's like 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 a two out of seventy. Yeah, no way to simplify that fraction. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try, you'll never yeah, come out of this alive. Man. Oh, oh, here it comes. We got, we got donations coming in already. I thought and, you were uh, gonna die in Isaac when you said no, that. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm very much alive. I've got the happy Papu swaddling baby. I have a dollar twenty-five donation from Asa or uh, Asna rather. Uh, happy birthday, Nick. Wait, it's not Nick's birthday, it's mine. Well, happy birthday to you. Anyway, keep up the good work and stay awesome. Enel does a good job, too. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you and very generous, and happy birthday. And uh, $3.69 from Anteater Superstar. Here we oh, go. Oh, here we go. Did you know Ape Escape 1 was the first video game to require the usage of a DualShock PlayStation controller? Really? I don't even think that's true. I thought it was Resident Evil Director's Cut. Oh, yeah. I have to say uh, a big thank you to both Big Underscore Shoe, much better than Big Wooden Bridge, and oh, Sean yeah. Cam and Chili470. Thank you very much for the subscription. I'm getting like a little bit uncomfortable uh, with my own subscriber sound. I wonder if this is how uh, Michael Todd felt as he was making Electronic Super Joy. Wait, because he was also making that sound a lot. Well, that's his sound in Electronic Super Joy, isn't it? Oh, okay. You could try slapping your belly. That works well for Steger. Maybe I'll try that off camera. Just slap your belly a whole bunch and then record it and see where that goes. That's the best business idea you've had all week. And it's been a week full of business secrets of the Rockley Smiles. They can't know most of them either. I keep them mostly for you. That's a smart idea. Although I've, occasionally I let one slip out just because you got to give them a little bit. Not everyone can keep them all in. Occasionally one slips out. Well, you got to keep the audience wanting more, right? And, you know, if you don't lead them in with it, you're never going to win. If you're wondering why I didn't re-roll it right off the bat, it's because I wanted to see if there was something re-rollable in the curse room, and then I would just take this. Uh, I'll take it for survivability, and because I can You will never take this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, lots of Borat references. Chat didn't hear the first couple, but... Uh... Yeah, those I think were, it's time to bring Borat back. Those were the days. Yeah, Borat too. Your Borat's back and you're gonna <laughs> be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, the Borat's back. 
I think there's a lot of comedic territory he still hasn't covered with that character, and I want to see all of it covered. It's weird because I think it's really easy to be like snide about Borat, but I also think the movie, while being very offensive, is also pretty funny and at times even intelligent. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's some moments of good parody there. Uh, how do I say this name? Sicarius HZ. Yeah. Like Hertz, I guess. Exactly. Like a Hertz donut. Yeah. Thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Rock Quarry. I got a stigmata. It's like a cross with a stake at the end or something. Are you something. still on the first floor? Wait, is that what that is? It's like a cross with a stake at the end. That's stigmata, man. Do I get that? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Damage plus health. Oh, shit. I'm glad I picked that up. I almost rerolled it. It's almost as good as toothpicks. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> It's almost as good as chocolate milk, which I think you okay. actually genuinely That's like. Fair. I think I kind of like chocolate milk enough to say that. I don't even like chocolate milk in real life. Yo, wait, you try strawberry milk. That shit's out of this world. You, are you kidding me? South Korea is like the freaking mecca of flavored milks. Oh, banana milk. Have you had that? Yeah, that was like freaking banana uyu, man, all over. Kids trading that shit for fucking kimchi sickles. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a real thing? Nah, kimchi sickles okay. are a real thing. Because that sounds kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that would probably be pretty gross. I love kimchi, but uh, that would that sounds pretty disgusting. It's like fermented cabbage frozen. Yeah. Not, not into that. Uh, but yeah, the banana milk sounds great. I would totally drink like a gallon of that. There's nothing wrong with probably banana milk. throw up for anything. Banana milk's fine. Can you get chocolate banana milk? I don't see why not. Do you? I mean, it's just mostly like an infrastructure issue, right? Like they can't combine the two things Why for not? some reason. It's just it's just flavored powder, right? Well, maybe they one would wash the flavor out of the other one. Maybe it would be all banana, no chocolate, or all chocolate, no banana. I've had chocolate and banana flavored things in my life, but you can put chocolate on a banana. It doesn't take the flavor away from the yep. banana. Yep. It, it doesn't take the chocolate away from the banana. That is correct, Northern Line. Have you ever had, uh, you know those Italian cookies you can get that taste a little bit like licorice? I don't think I have those. had those, actually. Because I figured out today, oh, I had a yeah. box of those sitting there, and I also had, like, one thing of uh, uh, chocolate pudding left, and I decided I was going to dip one in the other. Fucking fantastic. It tastes like a gourmet dessert that you'd pay $30 for. Okay, first so, off. That's the secret. What? Bidip. I'm sorry you had to subscribe oh. during what my partner was <laughs> describing there. Um, up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. What is the? What is your fascination, you and Josh, and other people out there, with, with dipping things into other things. I don't know what the problem is, man. I want to find out new ways to use chocolate that I've never thought of before. It's not really like, you know, I, I think you fancy yourself as some kind of like food, yeah, food Hernando Magellan or something no, like that. not at all. Okay. Oh, I just yeah. I like to be creative when I can because it's fun. You never know what you're going to find. It's mad science, man. Smooth There's cola this... pepper. Thank you for the subscription. Go on, continue. There's this guy on wow uh, this MasterChef show that I watch, yeah. and uh, I can't remember his name. Is He's it Scottish. Heston Blumenthal? No, it's not Heston Blumenthal, but that's close. Uh, he he has a thing for like strange scientific combinations of food, and he was like freeze drying everything and putting it all in liquid nitrogen. It sounds like Heston Blumenthal. Yeah, I don't. I think that guy should win the MasterChef competition. He's the most innovative. I think they don't prioritize that high enough when they're picking the Master Chef. They should be able to create stuff that's never been made before. I uh, think. So, I mean, maybe. I mean, that's a big thing in like uh, old cuisine, right? Weird stuff, but also kind of just like like a well-made coco bean sometimes. I don't know what that is. It's just like the chicken in a in red wine. Oh, okay. I thought you said a cocoa bean, and I'm like, you're just gonna eat a chocolate bean? Why? It's not a cocoa bean, Nick. Also, what's up with you trolling all these coffee companies lately? Why are I you doing that? I wasn't trolling. I just asked Blends. Why coffee bean, though? Yeah, but you spelled one of the words wrong, and you knew it. So you did it again. I just wanted to, I wanted to keep them sharp. You're trying to have a giggle. I, I was. Think. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, that's what it is. Diagnosed giggle. He just got eliminated, Nick. His name was Francis. It still is Francis. You can't. You just spoiled this week's episode. I didn't watch it yet. Oh, I, mean, I thought that would be relevant to your interests. Wow. Thanks. It's like my favorite show right now. You can't stay a week behind on a show like Master Chef, where time, is a, <laughs> where time is of the essence, man. It's not even been a week. It's been like a, a day. What is? I don't even know what day it airs on, but I always watch it on Hulu. Wow. 
sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll spoil something about some show you like. Uh, good luck, I'm on, uh, I, I just finished Breaking Bad. Oh, you finished it? Yeah, spoilers, that show is pretty darn good. Was pretty darn good, I guess. Well, I'll spoil it when we're not live, so that way I don't hurt everybody's feelings right. like you did when. I'm sorry about you. You could spoil, okay. you know, the last season of Big Brother for me. <laughs> did you know there was a? That's an in joke. <laughs> there was a contestant on uh, Hell's Kitchen a few seasons ago. Okay. After the season aired, she killed herself, and what? it was suggested that the way she was treated on the show was perhaps a, a motivating factor oh, in... That's awful. It's very sad, yeah. Huh? I, I just watched that show, too. And it oh. didn't say anything at all. I'm sorry, Whisperer. I can do it for you. I just go, oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Thank you very much for the subscription. And HP. HP. Ah. I'm fighting the... It's like a black devil. Splits in half. It's a fallen, yeah. Yeah, I like that guy. He's pretty cool. He's one of the more interesting bosses to fight. He doesn't just, like, do the same thing the whole time. I like the Fallen. I think the Fallen's a pretty good boss. Oh, it gave me a Guppy Paw. That sucks. Nah, dude. You pick it up and reroll it, though. I don't have enough rerolls. Oh, no. I, I don't you, have any rerolls. You blew it. Wait, I have a curse room, though. Maybe I can get a reroll out of that somehow. Nah. Unless you have uh, Nun's Habit. Oh, well, what do you know is in here? Fucking spiders, as always. Curse room's worth it, Nick. I was uh, I was skeptical as well, but I came around, and I'm glad I did. They're the same as the thing that Anubis uses. It kills you 100% of the time. <laughs> it's garbage. Uh, so I had a $5 donation from Curse Room. Oh, okay. Oh, Curse Room finally decides to give back. Uh, it says, heart, heart, visit me. Heart, <laughs> heart. Wow. It's pretty good. Trolled from the past, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very good. Thank you very much, Curse Room, and thank you to Anteater Superstar oh, for another six dollar ninety cent donation. Animal fact: uh, Besides the human, anteaters are the only known land mammal to enjoy playing class classic PlayStation Two video games. They have been known to play up to twelve hours of Ape Escape per day. That's bullshit. You ever seen a capybara play Crash Team Racing? Goes fucking. I've mental. seen capybaras play other indie games. Maybe not Crash Team Racing though. They I saw. I actually saw something that disturbed me uh, the other day. Yeah, was and it, it shouldn't Master have. Chef? I was. The, I don't. I'm not going to talk anymore about Master Chef because okay, apparently I spoil it for you, Nick. Um, what so disturbed you then? It was a picture, and it was of uh, some kind of noodle-based soup. Could have been pho right, slash pho. So it could have been uh, ramen. I'm not sure. I couldn't quite tell from the picture because I couldn't see what kind of noodles they were. But they have an egg in it. Uh, there was, there was, uh, like a half of a hard-boiled egg in it, yes. Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for, that's good information, keep going. Um, but, there was also some, you know, remember, like, dinosaur chicken nuggets? Yeah, kinda, yeah. There were dinosaur chicken nuggets in it, but they, they weren't shaped like dinosaurs, instead they were shaped like capybaras, and they had, like, black sesame seeds for eyes, and they were doing what the yeah. Cappy logo does, which is, like, they kinda <laughs> kiss one another. And everyone was like, oh, that's so cute. And I was looking at it, and I, this is all me being a little fucking weird. But I was like, that is the most horrifying. I couldn't eat that soup. Because it looks like the fucking, like, the volcano erupting at Pompeii, you know? And, like, people are, they know they're going to die, but they're, like, you know, fucking or, like, kissing their kids goodbye oh, and stuff like that. And they ca these capybaras are, like, boiled in a, this hot soup, but they're still showing their love for one another like they're real things. It was freaking me the fuck out. All right, I didn't even think about it that way, but now I'm never going to be able to not think about it that way. Yeah, it was it was very strange with oh, the dinosaur chicken yeah. nuggets. Rhyab oh, is an egg. Thank you very much for that subscription. <laughs> the dinosaur chicken nuggets are a little different because it's like, I don't know, it's separated from the thing that killed it. If that makes sense. Like, it's just you got these little dinosaurs on your plate and you go, you eat them and it's, oh, that's pretty delicious. I'm eight. What do I know, right? And then... Yeah, right? What but, do I know? But the capybaras are like, they're preserved in what killed them, man. I, I don't know why you're out. trying to bum me out today so much. I was in a pretty good mood, but now I'm just, like, really sad. I'm sorry. You, first you spoil Master Chef, then you tell me somebody I like from the last show I watched killed themselves, and now you're telling me about these animals suspended in their own death? It's awful. I'm sorry. It's just awful. Are you having a giggle? Is this your way of I'm not having a giggle, man. I'm opening myself up honestly here. 
Brianna, please. <laughs> Well, it's okay. I have people donating. They're giving me a happy that's, that's mood That's very again. nice, yeah. Thank you to Disease Injury Saltiness. I believe that's a Between the Buried and Me reference, uh, and also a Meat Boy reference because of one of my mod or my map titles. Uh, Zodeller69 says, Opinion on Death Grips. Uh, what, like, what crocodiles do? I don't think I know what that means. I don't think I like them. <laughs> 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 and a dollar sixty nine donation from Bid P. Bring back saving progress. You scones uh, and then five hearts. I like how that's a donation to you. Yeah, you should probably take that up with the dude that was actually on saving progress. Yeah, because Mike and Josh are really active in producing content right now, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure that saving progress is on the upswing. It's a great time to bring it up, really. But yeah. I do appreciate the donation, regardless. Um. Yeah, I wanted to come back too, but I also understand that there's a lot of other factors involved. I love uh, Michael Al Fox and and Josh, but speaking specifically about Mike here, I love him. His videos, man, he has the weirdest way of producing videos. It, it clearly works for him. There's people that like it, and that's cool, all right. But he's like a fox man fiddles, which is like his sort of let's look at thing. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half long, and. It like I watched him play Sunless Sea for like two and a half hours. <laughs> and I was like, it, it's not even like it's not warranted. It's just kind of like spend your day with Fox while he plays this game for forever. <laughs> I really and you don't just, see why people love that. That sounds really oh, cool. Oh, I get it because I know him. I just don't understand why like strangers like it. If that makes sense. I know that sounds really offensive, but like, I, it just blows my mind that that kind of content could be successful. Mostly because, fuck, dude, that's like a huge time investment. My throat would be would be right. parched by the end of a two and a half hour long first impressions video on like the long dark or whatever that game was called. The long uh, dark. It was called something like that. The long it's the one dark. where you're. It's like the forest, but instead of being in like a a tropical, you know, beach like area, you're in the Canadian oh Arctic tundra. You know, the the taiga. Oh, you played a Canadian game. That's nice. It's not Canadian. It's just uh, maybe it, I think they're actually Vancouver locals. Now that I think about it, <laughs> turns out I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm saying random shit, and I'm more right than you. <laughs> all right, Nick. I've become guppy. Again? Yeah. Stop being guppy all the damn time. It's a big risk, but. Uh, it is a big risk. Like I have, I have literally one HP right now. So it's a touch, it's a touch risky, but it is only Touching. the depths part one. All right, kill gluttony, no lard. I'm kind of sad about that, but I did get a couple hearts. What is? Why is Chad so mad? I can't tell if people are mad because they think that I just threw away a chance at victory, or if because I made myself too powerful. Like that's where we are in Isaac right now. They're mad because you're talking shit about your friend Michael Ale Fox. I'm not talking shit. I love I love Michael Ale Fox. He makes fun of me He's just as hard, up. just as hard as I make fun of him. But uh, I was also being facetious. But I, Chad I might hope not so. Know that. Oh, is that why did you take the tail first? Oh, the order you become Guppy in matters now. I, this, Ooh, did it right? I did it backwards. Grab Guppies. Grab nine lives, then the tail. Wouldn't that have cost me a life? Guppy's too OP though. Or I would have been able to keep my spirit hearts. Oh, I oh I threw away four spirit hearts. All right. Well, you need to do more challenging runs than this. This one is back. too easy for you. I'll try this out. Maybe get some HP upgrades here. How's your run going, Nick? It's satisfactory. I mean, I have ability to fly, a technology. I have a guardian angel. I have three hearts and a half a spirit heart. A bunch of bombs, a few keys, like a little bit of everything, kind of scattered. That's good. What, what floor are you on again? Uh, catacombs 2 at the boss room now. All right, so we're, we're basically at the same spot. I'm just finishing depths part one I guess I'm like a floor ahead. Did you catch the secret room in catacombs 2 by chance? I can't remember. Okay Grab this extra heart Convert NL to the mechanical keyboard master race. I don't think I'm likely to do that. I don't actually have a mechanical keyboard They're also very loud. That's the problem. Uh, so I watched this counter-strike streamer called uh, war owl Super nice guy. Oh, nice name. The the one thing that uh, that irks me about his videos sometimes is he does use a mechanical keyboard, and the clack is, you know, it's not enough to make me stop watching his videos, but it is Distracting, a though. little annoying. Yeah, and you know I have shit that's annoying about my audio as well. My audio is not perfect, but 
Well, but you used to have that thing where you'd hear the thumping all the time on your keyboard, and I don't think you do that anymore. So right, you yeah, fix that up. I got this, like, microphone arm right. thing. So if you introduce the mechanical keyboard, I imagine it would be, like, ten times worse than it was at its height yeah. of clacking. The other thing is, like, I don't know. I kind of just don't know why I would want a mechanical keyboard. Like, I understand, like, a lot of people love it, but... I, I'm cool with like $10 wired mouse, $10 wired keyboard, which is <laughs> like, that's, that does what success. I need. And sometimes people try to get fancy and they're like, hey, check this out. It's like ergonomic. And I'm like, don't need it yet. Gotcha. They feel really nice. I mean, I'll, whoa, what? Can you even do? I just re-rolled mom's lipstick and I got mom's lipstick again. Oh, that happens occasionally. Weird. Oh, oh, already All right, right I guess I'm taking mom's lipstick. Range up for my technology. Thanks. That's exactly what I needed. But yeah, they do feel really nice. It's just when you record stuff, like, what are you going to do? You're going to switch out your keyboards every time? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I feel that, you know, part of, like, computer hardware is use. Like, how useful it is, how practical it is. And then right. there's another part that is, like, a little prestige or, or, like, status, you know. I guess, yeah. Like, this, this headset that I'm wearing. That, the, the headset I'm wearing right now. It's not markedly better I mean okay it is but it's it's not you know 20 times better than a headset that's like one tenth the price right. but you know it's it's nice to have so I get it I'm not immune to it either but uh, I don't know it, like I'm the kind of guy who is totally okay using like a hand-me-down uh, stuff to this uh, where you can use like a gaming mouse that's not designated as a gaming mouse because who cares what it's called yeah. uh, and it's not a big deal but then there's people who will only use like the fucking death adder or whatever the hell it's yeah. called with the little spirally logo on it it's like a big deal because you want to be seen with logos and shit I'm like I don't care about logos when I <laughs> Just, go to uh, or actually a better example is like when you play games at PAX and the, the you know PR as you like sit down and they have right. all this like razor and like alienware and steel series stuff because they that's a way for them like that company to get their product seen as well uh oh careful 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 we're okay um i'm always like like i i can't do this like if we're playing like a first person <laughs> shooter awkward. like i i'm like why are there like 20 buttons on this i need lmb rmb that's it right but i'm also yeah. the kind of guy yeah, where like yeah. kate's like like what if you made as much money as pewdiepie like what kind of car would you get and i'm like Used Honda Civic. Well, it works. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why waste it on yeah. shit you don't need? I'm like, what's what's the cheapest reliable car? And she's like, no, but money's no object. And I'm like, yeah, but what's the cheapest would, reliable car? I would look into silly things like like a heated seat maybe for the winter, oh, but be, it wouldn't be like nice. upper tier expensive car. It would just be like slightly more expensive than it's used. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. I, yeah, it's true. I, I might be facetious. I might get a uh, a new car. Yeah, I've never owned a new car before. It would be kind of cool to see what that's about. Yeah. But, then but it's like, also not that big of a deal either if I never have that. This is also like uh, her uh, after like an hour of me being like, I wouldn't get a car. I just continue to take the bus. Oh, okay. and then <laughs> so she got you to cave on the car. Right. She, she's like, you have settled. to get a car. And I'm like, well, that's not realistic. And she's like, you have to. I'm like, okay. <laughs> if, if a higher power is deigned that I must buy an automobile, then I will... I'll play your silly game here. And people think it's it's disingenuous. People are like, you wouldn't buy a Honda Civic. And I'm like, no, like, maybe I wouldn't, but in my head right now, I totally believe that I would. I don't even know what I would get, but it wouldn't be more than, like, a $20,000 car at the very most. I mean, seeing these ads, there's, like, this new Nissan. It's, like, $11,000 or something like that? I didn't right. even know it was possible to make a car... A new car that yeah, cheap. Yeah, that's real cheap. That's it's is like that a, like a terrible car? Why is it? So I don't cheap? know. I don't. It, <laughs> geez, man, it's like one Isaac episode. Might as well just, just wow. get, a, get a few. Yeah, just get a parking lot, fill them up, and just do a different one every day and try them all out, <laughs> and then make YouTube videos about the cars, and then you get paid for those too. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Do reviews, car reviews. Yeah, I'll, I'll start doing. I'll start doing car reviews. I think that would go well. Different car a day for 365 days. There was like a it's Call a of Duty, a, uh, a Call of Duty streamer or a YouTuber a few years ago, right. who made a video about like the Mercedes that he bought with all the money that he made on YouTube. Oh, I and, think I seen that. And I was like, I don't know if you should do that. Yeah, sounds like you're kind of signing your own death warrant on right. that. Right, you know. <laughs>
you you're what you earned your money and you're entitled to do whatever you want with it but when when if you do stuff like that and then later on you're like hey i really need your support like blah blah yep. blah now, like you had that that ship is fucking right gone yeah off the rails you're not getting that one anymore <laughs> like hey guys i really need your support to continue doing what i'm doing you're like you know i you did that video where you bought a mercedes man you're like 19. Yep. Again, it's his money. He's entitled to do what he wants. I just think it's a little short-sighted. Anyway. Yeah, I'd put that shit in a savings account. Is that be who, the end of that? Was it X Jaws? X, people are saying X Jaws. I have no idea. Like, I, all I saw was the video. I don't know. People are saying he went crazy. Yeah. Name sounds familiar to me too. There was a crazy bone named Jaws. Crazy bone? You, you, you don't know crazy bones? Don't talk about my crazy bone. You don't know crazy bones. I don't think so. Sounds like a weird thing you buy for your dog. Nah, dude. Crazy bones were like that, uh, plastic, like, uh, toys that you threw at one another. It was like pogs, but you threw them. You throw plastic at each other? Why? Well, you what throw them mean? at the other ones, and if you knock them over, then you get to take theirs. Oh, okay. For some reason, I was imagining, like, a weird boomerang-style thing that you hold and throw at your friends for fun. No. Uh, like, like when people get a trash can lid and they shoot fireworks at each other, but what? with like plastic objects, <laughs> it's like a southern thing, I guess. I don't know. I've never. That's done a it. southern probably thing. Not a, you just shoot fireworks not a at each thing. other. I'm probably just being a dick right now. Sorry. Um, yeah, they totally shoot like shitty bottle rockets at each other, and then sometimes get burned. Uh, it's just a stupid people thing. It's not a southern thing. Jeez. Yeah, don't shoot fireworks at each other. I don't I, condone that. I should say, by the way, I wasn't suggesting that it's better to lie to people and say, like, you know, like, buy the Mercedes and then be like, I just bought this, you know, 1986 Ford Pinto or something like that. All I'm suggesting is maybe don't buy the Mercedes and also, you know, I don't know, save money in case YouTube goes belly up or something like that or... You know. Yeah, it's just the job is not particularly stable, so right. like cashing out your chips that early seems like a poor idea that's, to me. Anyway. That's pretty much where I was getting at it. But if you do decide to go off the deep end, I think it's an inadvisable career move to, like, I don't know. House tours are like kind of a different thing because people kind of like to see setups and stuff like that. But to be like, thanks to your support, I just bought a Mercedes. I don't know. It, it strikes me as very... Just buying it in the first place is like pretty audacious, and then to also show off about it is kind of like very non-humble, I guess. Yeah, I think so. All right. It's uh, it's treading strange water here. I don't know. I yeah, I agree. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Again, you know, you you earn the money, you're entitled to buy whatever you want. And shit, maybe people ate it up. I don't know. Maybe people were like, congratulations on buying the Mercedes. Don't shoot fireworks at each other. Don't do it. Someone in chat said, like, <laughs> that actually is a southern thing, by the way. <laughs> like, oh. when I was incredulous, they're like, no, that's actually like a southern United States thing. To All shoot right, fireworks. well, I, I backstepped because I didn't want to be a dick. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fair enough. Because I'm not sure. And then somebody was like, are you calling southern people dumb? No, that's not what I meant. I thought it actually was, and then I realized it sounded like I was being a dick. So I had to say I'm not sure. Right, <laughs> not everybody in the south shoots... Uh, fireworks at one another yeah yeah not everybody does anything no matter what it is so breathe that, that goes without saying gotcha. what metabolize what is firework <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and also because like a lot of places in the north you can't even buy fireworks so that also kind of maybe has a hand in it it's like another step to illegally import the fireworks mm. to then shoot them at each other i don't know you know, as long as I'm firing shots like crazy, um, I kind of don't get yeah. fireworks either. They're good for getting, like, parts of your fingers blown off, if you're into that. I don't look down on fireworks, I just kind of don't get it. Like, people are like, oh, there's a big fireworks show, it's gonna be, like, pretty lights. I'm like, sure, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll look oh, it up on... I thought you just meant, like, personal use fireworks. You mean all of them. The, the concept of, of fireworks. Oh, okay, I'm totally not with you then, I love fireworks. You love I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with that, it's... I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of Pilkington about it, I guess, or I'm like, okay. uh, you know, big lights. Would you go to, like, a laser light show? Absolutely not. Not of my own volition, oh, no. okay. Got it. Like, All you right, mean, then like a Kenny you're Loggins. internally consistent. I can't say anything about that. <laughs> like a Kenny Loggins planetarium type thing. 
I mean, whatever you want to listen to, yeah. That. That's not my style. You wouldn't oh, even just be curious to see what a laser light show even looks like? I've, I've never I've been seen to one. freaking laser light shows before. Oh, have you? That's, yeah. Fireworks by Animal Collective is is great. You're you're not wrong about that. It's a good song. And Katy Perry also has one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one as well. Yeah, that's good. It's a cover of the Animal Collective worth. one. It's just kind of hard to Leave tell. Leave you going, uh, uh, uh. Leave you going, uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're not wrong. I had some fun at fireworks shows before. I mean, I guess because you're in Canada, it's like you don't have Fourth of July. We have so. fucking Canada Day, man. We shoot up fireworks. You do fireworks for that? Oh, oh okay. of course. What do you think? There's a freaking American monopoly on, you know, no, I just recreational don't know. I've never, explosions. I've literally never even been to Canada before in my life, so. All right, well, we have fireworks <laughs> for my Canada ignorance, Day. I'm sorry. What is that? Okay, your country never went through a revolution. Is that... Like, that's what fireworks are celebrating everywhere, is is exclusively revolution. It's like, well, man... I just didn't know what you use fireworks for if not Independence Day. Like, I don't know why people even use them. We use, the, we use them for Independence Day, like, well, Canada Day. And, right. um... Well, we, we had fireworks on 4th of July as well, because we don't, you know, want to fire shots at other nations. We, you know, celebrate uh, multinationalities. And then, nice. uh, I don't know, like, uh, like Halloween, Christmas, stuff like that. And now All we right. just had the Festival of Lights. Yeah, I know. We and that it it mostly just annoyed me. I'd be like driving home, well, on the bus home, and uh, you know, people were like, oh, fireworks! Like the bus has got to stop because there's so much traffic. Just looking at the fireworks, and I'm like, I just kind of want to get home so I can like take a shit. <laughs> I understand. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's no, no problem. Sure. Yeah. There's lots of. I respect things. your opinion on that. New Year oh, yeah, fireworks on New Year's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it's just a celebration thing, I guess. It's all good. I just have, like, a... Get a cake or something. Just, like, a big cake. Like, a cake for all of Canada. That would be a huge cake. I mean, you'd have to... Yeah. It Canada would be quite cake. large, yeah. Uh, I had a few donations come in. Uh, one of them was from... Uh, big Ape Escape fan. Ape Escape fan 69 donated $2.69. A group of anteaters is called a parade. Look that shit up, son. Well, thank you very much, Ape Escape fan. And Could be I anybody. A... Yeah, I, I have no clue where to even start on that one. Uh, $1.69 donated from TiVo, or Tevo, I guess. Probably Tevo, because Tevo's with an I, I think. Uh, a very merry unbirthday. Well, thank you very much for the donation. And then Anteater Superstar donated $3.69. Nick, buy a Mercedes and a copy of Ape Escape 2 with all my donations. <laughs> I will. Thank you very much. And just so you know, it wasn't that the donation tracker was skipping them. I was just kind of waiting for a while, so I didn't just have a deluge of nothing but reading donations mm. for a while. Sensical. Yeah. Yeah, sensical. A type of popsicle. Kimchi flavor, yeah. I might lose okay, this serve round. him up. You just, you just grab him right out of the air. I love it. There's a small chance I might lose this run. Nope. Sounds oh. like it's possible, but I've never heard of you losing any runs before. I've lost a couple of runs on the stream before. Not many. I'm fighting though. Mom's foot right now. Why does Mom have so many parts to her? She's got the same number of parts as, like, an average person. No, she's got, like, the part of her that comes out of doors. She's got the eye. She's got her foot. She's got a heart. It's like, these are all just one person. Why do we need to fragment her all up into pieces like that? This isn't Cube. I haven't seen Cube, Nick. There you go. You got your spoiler. Well, you don't even know how that's a spoiler. I've been... Well, obviously people get chopped up probably by some kind of wire or something, if I had to guess. It's got like a 13 ghost thing going on. You ever seen Resident Evil the movie? No. Oh, man. I can't even make that reference then. Don't spoil it. I've been planning right, on watching things. all 200 of those this weekend. You don't have enough time. There's not enough hours in the damn day. How are you going to pull that off? you going to hire somebody to watch them and write a synopsis for you? You know, I didn't think about the specifics, Nick, okay? You got me. <laughs> I didn't think things through enough. Okay. So you got to plan it out like me. You can't just tackle the Resident Evil movies all willy-nilly like that. How you have you not plan. seen Cube? There's lots of things I haven't seen in my life, Chad, just because they exist. It's not like just because Cube's Canadian, we have to, like, there's International Watch Cube Day. Or National oh, Watch Cube Day. I don't even know it's Canadian, that's cool. It's Canadian, yeah. It's as Canadian as, as Jim Carrey and Alan Thicke. Neat. 
I think there's a lot of things that like get appropriated into American culture that are just straight up Canadian and we don't even know it anymore. Yeah, that's why we're all so defensive about it. We have to tell you every time something's Canadian. Carly Rae Jepsen, she's Canadian. You remember Call Me Maybe? Uh, you m might not want to take credit for all the things, but that's okay that's, that's too. That's a pretty catchy song, Nick. Okay. Just saying, I think maybe we haven't given you a fair shake sometimes. You know that song that's currently like number one? It's, uh, you know. Rude? It's rude? The song's rude? Not the rude. They're, that uh, band? Sandstorm. That band? They're Canadian. It's what? true. Yeah. I don't even know what we're talking about right now. The, I'm the, dead. That rude band. Magic, I think they're called. Use the card, you're going to die. Oh, I wish I read that like six seconds ago. What card do you have? Um, I don't know. I put it down and I took another card and it teleported me somewhere and then uh, I died. I guess you wouldn't know, yeah. It was probably one that made me not die though, so I know that now. Darud. Apparently it's Darud, that's what I'm learning here. Yeah. Do 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 it's just like constantly. <laughs> Alright, Nick, I think I might actually win. Okay, I'm very surprised by that. It's gonna be close though. So this is the part where I have a perfect run and then I have to stop so we can play cannon roll. Well, maybe you can stop dying 43 minutes in. It wouldn't be so difficult. You said that last time, and I still can't seem to follow your <laughs> advice. The band name is Rude Dude. That's not true. Some kind of rude dude that doesn't say <laughs> excuse me. Look, I know Justin Bieber's Canadian, okay? You can't win them all. Is he actually just like a straight up douchebag? I kind of think he, he might be. He, just, he does kind of seem like an asshole. I have some sympathy for the fact that he's under extraordinary pressure and, you know, that's where people always yeah, go yeah. like, oh, it must be so hard to be stinking rich and everybody wants to fuck you. And you're like, okay, but seriously, like he's got a spotlight on him. And he's young. And I think a lot of people that lived relatively normal upbringings would actually turn into total shitheads if they had like tens of millions of dollars by the time they were 17. Right. That being said, yes, he does seem like kind of a shithead. It's just so hard to sympathize with somebody, even though I understand we probably should when they act so cocky like that is all. Yeah, it's, it's the it's the Mercedes thing, man. Yeah, the Mercedes effect. Exactly. We'll call it. You gotta put a name on it. <clears throat> yeah, he's under pressure to bang a bunch of dumb teenage girls and act like a piece of garbage. <laughs> I, I Look, I don't totally agree with the sentiment, but the way you phrased it titillated <laughs> me. Funny. So I, yeah. I like it. Also, I there's want There's all these... There's, oh, crats. <laughs> I keep seeing all these pictures of where he's, like, leaning over a balcony, spitting on his fans. Is that real, or is, there, is that just the, you know, people making shit up for okay. the, the clicks? I don't know, but... Like, who would do that, really? Yeah. <laughs> You'd really, have to be a huge asshole. really shouldn't do people. that. Like, that's why I'm saying I probably don't even think it's real. You'd have to just make that up. But if it's real, wow. <laughs> It's like the pastime of celebrities. You eventually reach a certain income status where you can stand on balconies and spit on people below you and it's just socially acceptable. I wouldn't even <laughs> want to. Like, I think that's what gets me is that, <laughs> like, if if you got some kind of benefit out of it, but it's like, I don't know, maybe you want to slap somebody in the face. You really think you'd get a hard on from slapping somebody in the right. face. If you slap somebody in the face, at least I could kind of understand it. But just spitting on somebody, that's just kind of gross. Do you get any pleasure out of that? That's some Joffrey shit. That's like Lord of the or fucking not Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones shit. You're just like, I'm just gonna be an asshole because I have all the power and you can't do anything about it. That is a dick move. Yeah. Your public personality seems like a pretty cool and possibly genuine dude, at Northern Lion. It's, I'm really like a serious asshole in real life, <laughs> but I just put on this facade of being a nice guy on uh, on the internet. Just good business. You're very consistent with it too. I don't know how you keep up the facade so well. Then I just get in my fucking Porsche 911 GT and drunk drive. Yeah. yeah. Whatever While you hit on doesn't my fucking fans. matter. Just yeah, have your agent fucking clean up after you as you drive over yeah. people. That's actually like I forced Josh out of the industry. Basically, I was I was free basing cocaine at like six in the morning, and he's like, "Dude, you got to get out of this." And I was like, "You know what? You're out of this." And then wow. I, I phoned up uh, John Carnage, and I said, ban his Twitch channel. And he said, I can't do that, but 
but I can install cameras in his apartment. Yeah. Until he can't handle it anymore. That's Jesus, what happened. That's that's pretty dark, Nick. <laughs> There's a movie about that. Is that like? I can't remember what it's called now. I don't know. It kind of sounds like Old Boy or something, but it it is. This is really a recent one. It's about like corporate espionage. Just like this fresh-faced young kid that tries to that's the get informants. up in the world. And then he gets fired from his job, and then the boss is like, I saw that you spent all the money on my corporate expenditure card, so I'm going to blackmail you into doing whatever seedy shit I feel like. That's Runner Runner, starring Ben Affleck and Justin Timberlake. No, it's not. That's Boiler Room, starring Vin Diesel. Oh, I like Boiler Room, but it wasn't that. And Giovanni Ribisi. I kind of want to watch Boiler Room again. Boiler Room's pretty good! Does nobody know about that movie? Because it seems like everybody that sees it should be really hyped about it. It's a, it's a pretty good movie. The thing that gets me about Boiler Room is the same thing that gets me about uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. Is that it's like a total... Oh, don't spoil that, man. I haven't seen I, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not going to spoil anything except, just, except your a, track a theme. <laughs> except <Okay>. a theme. <laughs> They're both kind of about, you know, how tragic greed can be. But a lot of people watch them. And they right. go, like, the message that they take I home. I want to do that now. Says, yeah, I want to be real rich. And you're like, yep. you kind of... Miss the point, you're, fucker. You're missing, like, the nugget that that makes it more than just a power fantasy. Yes. Even though there is you a You just wanted the power fantasy. That's the whole thing for you. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna give myself, because it's only 348, I'm going to give myself yep. another uh, Forget Me Now. A uh, movie was called Paranoia, by the way. Paranoia. I haven't seen it, but I think maybe I've seen the, the cover. I saw it on Netflix, so I don't mm. know if Canadian Netflix has it too, but you may want to check it out because I enjoyed it. it. Might have been where I saw it, actually. I even tweeted about it one night. Wow. That's, that's... how much I liked it, yeah. So you have any experimental Twitch channels coming up that we can look forward to? Because I know that's all the rage, just uh, whatever random shit you can think of plays Pokemon is now the thing. Nah, I'm just gonna keep Nothing. doing what we do, I guess. Like, so I watched the little fish plays Pokemon. Twitch plays Pokemon was was entertaining and silly. Fish plays Pokemon is just frustrating for me personally, because okay. I didn't I didn't get it at all. It was just like okay, I mean I get the concept, but I kind of didn't get what made it engaging. I wouldn't be surprised if like I don't mean this to shit on the creator. I wouldn't be surprised if like tomorrow fish plays Pokemon has like 500 viewers. Wow, I don't think that's gonna happen. It's okay. gonna go up before it goes down. I, I don't know, man. Place your bets, guys. Your salty bets. You know, uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon started small, blew up, and then, like, blew up again. Uh, yes. I think Fish Plays Pokemon is gonna start at, like, the medium level for, uh, that, that Twitch Plays Pokemon got to, and then people are gonna be like, eh, it's not so good. Well, when I saw it, it was at about, I think, 25,000 viewers, yeah. so, like, five to six times what we get for our show. Yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking it's probably going to cap around 40,000 and uh, then kind of uh, sink back down from there. I could see that happening, yeah. That's just my prediction. We'll come back to this later and we'll revisit. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably actually not. <laughs> yeah, if it's still around by Monday, maybe we can talk about it. Okay. I don't begrudge the creators of it. I think it's, kind of, it's funny, but... Uh, I don't know. Watching it, like watching Twitch plays Pokemon, was kind of like this community bonding thing um, when I did watch it. But uh, Fish plays Pokemon, I'm just like, I don't get it. Well, it just seems to me like when Goat Simulator came out, and then everybody had to make a million stupid simulators about everything they could think of because they wanted to make an in joke. Oh, we're still in the we're in the pre part of that period. That period hasn't even really begun yet. Oh, get ready. Well, you haven't been watching Game Jolt then, because there's been about a hundred simulators that have come out. You're right, I have not been watching Game Jolt. Yeah, go ahead on over there, type in simulator, see what you can do. Yeah. You'd have a whole channel based on just the simulators uploaded to Game Jolt in the last month. That sounds horrible. I mean, yep. you know, no disrespect to the people making those games, but... It's cool. I mean, I've been making a lot of weird YouTube channels, maybe I'll make one. We'll see. Pretty sure Star Citizens is going to take off, though, man. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be the next Yogg's cast. <laughs> uh, here it comes. We don't even know about it yet. That, that was the big unveiling right there. Well, now you're going to get, you could probably get to 100 subscribers right now. Get yourself kickstarted. Oh, God, here we come. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give myself Forget Me Now again. I don't even think I've bookmarked it yet. 
This you guys guy, are gonna make me bookmark my own YouTube channel. This guy still uses bookmarks. What do you use? What's up with that? Bookmarks. Oh, you use the thing when you open Chrome where it gives you the little panes? No, I just type in, it takes two seconds. Twitter, T, oh. boom, T, enter. New and old meta is where you type everything into Google even though you go to it on a daily basis. So if you mm. want to visit Facebook, you type in facebook.com yeah. and then you search it and then you click the top link. I've, I've done that before. A lot of you things do that for everything. A lot of things that bother like IT people or people fixing like their parents' computers. I've done it. Like double clicking okay. on some things that only need to be single clicked on. I've <laughs> I've weaned myself out of that habit, but there was a time when I just double clicked on everything. All right. Well, I mean, we all make mistakes. As long as you acknowledge them, you can move on from there. Can we just, you know what? uh, what? I know a lot, not, not very many people use Internet Explorer. Well, not very many people who have a choice use Internet Explorer. Bing, man, is where it's at. But, can we just acknowledge how silly Internet Explorer is as a name? It doesn't it conjure this image of like a little, like for me, what Internet Explorer means to me, if, if I had no knowledge of the browser and someone was, I was a graphic designer, and someone was like, draw me a logo. I'd be like, this is like a, it's gonna be a dude with like a conquistador's hat on and a big old boner. <laughs> that would That's what Internet Explorer would He'd be. He'd have me. a boner for you? What do you mean, not for me. He'd have a boner for the things why he is, was exploring. Why does he have an erection? Oh, because he's just so down with exploring. Well, okay. it's the internet. What do you think he's exploring on the internet? I don't know, like cat videos or something. You shouldn't get boners from watching cat videos, Northern Lion. Oh, what if he's a cat? Maybe he could be a cat as well. Oh, so he's a cat explorer on the internet with a boner. Yeah. Why didn't he get neutered? Didn't Bob Barker do his part? This guy. You don't even respect Bob Barker anymore. It's like Drew Carey was always I the respect, host of Price is Right I respect since the beginning Bob of fucking Barker, time for this guy. Nick, I respect Bob Barker. Okay. You saw him when he was in the Adam Sandler movie. He did. He put his all into that role. Spanglish. Yeah, he was really good in Spanglish. He did a great job. He made his fantastic sandwich in that movie. The Spanglish sandwich. Club. That was Spanglish. on the DVD disc, by the way. It was just a sandwich. It's a picture of a melty sandwich. I know that because I had to sleeve it a lot in GameStop because people kept trading in Spanglish. Don't ever use sleeve as a verb again, okay? What do you call it when you have to take a DVD out of a case and put it in a sleeve? You sleeve something. No, you fucking, you put it in a like, sleeve. Well, we, the official GameStop terminology was you gut the game or the gut the DVD case. But that just felt like, what are we, a bunch of fucking whalers? They just cut our, cut our whales open and steal the guts out of them? That's sleeve. wrong. Sleeve is way worse, man. Well, because you're just thinking of, like, male sex aid devices is all... Sleeve. It's really all you ever think about. Sleeve Nick alone. Sleeve me alone. <laughs> it's gross, man. Bob Barker does not approve. I got nothing against Bob Barker. It sounds like you did, based on the way we just talked. Look, if Bob Barker was here, I would go to the grocery store, buy a case of Insure, and ask him all about his life. Oh, that's nice. All right, good. I guess you've made peace, then. So what about Nutscape or Netscape? Netscape just sounds like, like a fucking, I don't know, 1990s. It's like hackers in 1995. Wow. Yeah, we're on the same page. I was thinking like, <laughs> okay. it would be like a, a prequel to Johnny Mnemonic starring like Christian Slater or something yep. like that. Yeah, okay. Totally same page. Yep. Okay. We gotta go easy. into the Netscape. Or it'd be like just after the Matrix. Yeah, just before into the Netscape. Matrix. They hadn't quite fleshed out the idea for the Matrix yet. Mm. Yeah, Netscape was a big that. influence on us. Uh, there's also Earthlink. That's a pretty good one as well. He severed the Earthlink! We got 24 hours to get those people home! So it's basically Independence Day? I was, or I was thinking like it was a spaceship, and it was like the first manned mission to Mars, but something went wrong. Oh shit, that's dangerous. This place is a tomb! You seen Event Horizon? Yeah, oh my god, I love that movie. Yeah. It's fucking horrifying. I haven't seen it, but I've seen that line a lot. This I was thinking when Jeff cool. Goldblum discovers that the secret to turning the shields off is that you have to upload the code. Yeah. That's kind of where I go with that. In the in the list of like fictional computer programmers from, from movies and other media, Jeff Goldblum's got a rank pretty high, right? Jeff Goldblum in uh, Independence Day programmed yeah. a virus for an alien operating system in one day. 
it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, did some serious work on that. I, one. I mean, of course, all night. you gotta have like uh, to get lucky. Like um, the the kid from the Matrix one. You know, he programmed the the woman in the red dress. Oh, okay. Or possibly, right. um, you know, Tank. Tank's always like banging out codes on the. Tank's banging out a lot of things. You know, tank a break. Oh, he, did, he didn't yeah. come back for the uh, sequels because he wanted yeah. too much money. Which to me really is like, I hope his agent can sleep at night. <laughs> it's like, excuse yep. me, my client played Tank, one of the <laughs> biggest tertiary characters in the first Matrix film. And you want to give us $500,000 for him to come back? I don't think so. He's I mean, gonna I don't walk. Want to shit talk him, but like, I'm betting he's gonna cite that movie as his reference for the rest of his career, right? I would have to imagine. I have to say as well, the play to win. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Thanks, play to win. Whew. I, I finished my uh, my Isaac game, Nick. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I got to the depths one. That's pretty against good. All odds. In 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not speed running, but I'm kind of am, I guess. How come you never speedrun anything, Northern Lion? I don't like speedrunning. I just like to get to the end. I don't care how long it takes me. We played a couple games where you ran pretty fast. Like, speedrunners is one of them. Yeah, but, the, you know, the destination's the same. You just keep doing it over and over. Okay. So you like uh, analogs for masturbation in your game, basically. Excuse me? And I just died, so perfect timing. Oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. thanks for watching. I hope you guys... Uh... Enjoyed this uh, little Isaac run we did here. We're going to run three minutes of ads. And when we come back, we're going to play some Cannon Brawl, Ready which brawl. is going to be a lot of fun. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon. See you soon. I'm just going to repeat you slightly after. That's, you're welcome to do so. Okay. You're welcome to do so. You're welcome to do so. <clears throat> oh, shit. A dollar sixty nine donation from Anonymous. We did it Reddit as of this donation. You have more followers on Twitter than on Crustables. Hey, really? Have they actually just leveled out? They just haven't been gaining any since months ago? Because this is kind of a big deal if that's true. I gotta go look. They're much more of a uh, a winter company, I think. They blew know? their load and then they just haven't gotten anything since then. It's a seasonal business, man. You really want those, like, you know, pizza pocket style warm sandwiches in the winter, I think. Wait, what is this? I can't see how many followers they have. Is that even an option? If you go to Uncrustables on Twitter, can you not? Oh, OK, it was my window was weird. OK, it's cool. Uh, they have 13.6 thousand. And what do I have? I also have 13.6 thousand. I have 13,639. So we got a breakdown. And they have... Oh, yeah. One more. I have one more than Uncrustables. Thank you for that donation. Very topical. And that really <laughs> makes my day better. All right. The war has been won. Uncrustables have been defeated. Now I got to find a new goal. <clears throat> I'm not going to fight you on Twitter. That's what that cough was about. Ah, oh, just uh, to clear my throat a little bit. Okay. Pretty sure I wouldn't be able to get anywhere near you anyway. Cloud scores off the damn charts. <laughs> it's not really. No, compared to me, it's a whole different league. I'm still in Bush League. I don't get cloud score, man. It seems like, you know, if you tweet a lot, you're going to be somewhere in the 60s, bare minimum. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like high 60s, like 69 Well, I, I was in like the 60, 67, 68 range. And it's like TB is like 71. I'm like, shit, dude, that's a lot of work oh, to wow. raise your cloud score by like three points. Maybe it's one of those things like Social Blade, because like the secret to a good Social Blade score is to have a lot of people that have your channel in their little sidebar. Oh, so yeah, have, that's like, really relevant in today's YouTube landscape. And it's the funniest shit, because I see people complaining like, why is my Social Blade score so bad? It's like, you just don't know the secret, yeah. and that's the secret, and now you know. <laughs> you didn't even find out from Oprah this time. Hi, I'd like to request a copy of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth in advance of its release. Uh, I have a Social Blade score of A-, minus, which puts me in the top oh, 4,000 channels on Social Blade. I can't even get an A-. minus. That's, that's a great score, really man. Good. Last I checked, it was a B+. I don't think I've ever dipped below a B+, actually. 
And I have like close to 80 or 70 or 80 people that have my channel in their sidebar for some reason. Mm. I really like that. You guys just all put me in your sidebar so I can get an A minus and then I can get a copy of Binding of Isaac Rebirth early. That's how it works, yeah. They only give it to people who have A plus SB scores or better. Yep. Edmund put a hard line in the sand on that one. He's not pliable that's, at all. That's how you get PR to take notice of you if you're a YouTuber. Every email include number of uniques per month. <laughs> Very important. Unique uh, number of backlinks from other websites. Your Alexa ranking. Oh, the pingbacks. Yeah, yeah pingbacks, Alexa <laughs> ranking, uniques, and then, you know, then your degree after that. And an updated odometer setting from your car. What? They like they like to know that you've been driving around a lot. It makes them feel like you're busy. Nick, I'm sorry to butt in, but what? overweight woman in chat just said Cristiano Ronaldo just transferred to PSG. Is that true? If so, that's that's enormous news. Also, holy crap, the French league is very much tilted towards PSG. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's you know, football. fantasy star galaxies. Fantasy star galaxies. PSG. All right, let's do this, Nick. Oh, is it time to get our, get our get groove brawl. on? Are you ready? Okay, I gotta, I'm almost ready. I'm doing screen regions real quick. Bam. Oh, I don't even have my controller plugged in. That's the thing. I gotta get that sorted out. Yeah, we gotta do controllers first. That's important. And also, Alex plays Fire Emblem, donated dollar sixty nine, and said, "Love watching you play Cavern Kings." Kinetic Fist confirmed only melee weapon. Thank you very much for the donation. It's getting a little ridiculous. Oh, I got word that I'm gonna get a new build of Cavern King soon, so I'm gonna be able to play a version that doesn't crash all the time. Maybe I hope. In the court of the Cavern Kings. <laughs> now that's a reference I like. Oh. That's a good one. All right, it's Crimson Nick. King. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm aware. King Crimson, I mean. Yeah. Well, it's both. Yeah. Court of the Crimson King by King Crimson. Yeah, that. Um, John Bon Jovi's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu School for oh the for blind bl for blind Jews. Jesuits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm hosting. Oh, that... uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Why did my game just quit? Oh, Don't do that. Hit the B button too much, probably. It keeps telling me my window's out of focus. It's out of control. Yeah, okay. I like when you all tab and it's like windows out of focus. It's like, I know. Oh, yeah. Could have got Chinese food just subscribed. Hey, I don't know where you live that you can get a $5 meal, uh, even Chinese food or not, but uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing instead. Yeah, that's a really good deal. I don't think I've ever seen that cheap Chinese food. Maybe like a lunch special. Like you can have four chicken balls, steamed rice, and maybe an egg roll and some watery wonton soup. Oh, why is there a person with my face on their Steam account? That's weird. Nick. I sent you an invite. Did you get it? Ah, uh, okay. I will look now. Oh, I'm not using Joy to Key anymore, chat. You never have to tell me that again. I'm just using built-in controller support in uh, Spider Mod now. That makes a lot of sense, I'd say. I don't want to put Steger to shame ever again, because that was... Oh, man, now I'm on the right side every time? Yeah, this is going to mess me up. I kind of oh. wish we could reverse this. You want to you wanna host so we can fix yeah, this? Yeah, I actually do. Like, I know right. that doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal. No, it is. I, I'm with you. Let's, oh man! Let's do this properly. It's it's like when you play like two player in Madden or like or Madden's is a bad example, but like NHL, and you're mm -hmm. always used to going up or down. All right. I think we're sorted now. Yeah, I thank agree. you for doing that. It's much better this way. And uh, thanks to uh, Alex plays Fire Emblems for a uh, five dollar fifty five cent donation. Love your ca uh, Cavern Kings. Let's play Pneumatic Fist Conferno. Oh, you sent more money with the same message. Thank you very much. <laughs> And uh, also to Curse Room, I'm glad you're here. You make my life suck less. Well, that's very oh, nice. That is very sweet. Seven dollar donation. And Skydiver or Sky, yeah, Sky Divider actually donated twenty dollars and says I got. I'm gonna give you a small donation because I'm a live streamer too. So we need help. Need to help the streamers. Please check it. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for the donation. All right, I'm gonna pick. 
There's a place here called Dollar Scoop. You get a scoop of whatever Chinese food you want, so you could end up with a $3 plate. That is fucking oh, crazy. Yeah. Wow. Is it just awful tasting? Gibsman just subscribed up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Still, I, even if it is shitty, man. That's pretty cheap. It really is. One dollar full meal with free refill juice here? Uh, if your mom's making it for you, it doesn't count, okay? <laughs> Did you see the Twitch CEO's AMA? I have not. I have been doing other things right now, but I will probably look for it later. I did, I, I looked at it. I mean, there's there's nothing you would really not expect to be in there. Yeah, that's exactly what I figured, yeah. There's a lot of, like, you know, uh, we're uh, listening to concerns and actively trying to make stuff better. and yeah. Right, right. right. Hey, Gibsman just subscribed. Thank you very much, Gibsman, and welcome to the Rock Quarry. Let's raise up lots and lots of rock yaws, please. Someone asks, is there anything I wish Twitch had feature-wise? I actually tweeted a thing that I think you guys liked as well, uh, like a favorite game page. Yeah, I think that would you be just sweet set as a hell. bunch of games, and it'll just put up whatever's live that makes sense. So you just have sort of like a standard homepage that isn't just the Twitch main homepage, which is maybe why they haven't done that already, because maybe they'd prefer you didn't have that option. Mm, maybe, yeah. What are you doing there, Nick? Because I do like when people watch the Northern Line Live Super Show, because that has front page promotion It does. Sometimes. It does typically have front page promotion, yeah. And then maybe people wouldn't see that. Break my heart. Um, that's not good. What's not? I need to do something. To, um. Uh oh. <clears throat> what are you putting over here? It's a little shield of Ruski. It's actually it's a, called a shield of Reno. Oh, sorry. It's a shield of Reno. Uh. How did your shield block my laser? Bl not block my laser. Block my cannon. It, you just shot a wall. No. I oh. Thought yeah. I just saw you shoot a oh, wall just now. Oh yeah. Uh, up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride, Neuroxic. Thank you very much. Oh, Bull and S. No, Bull is exactly not what that is. That is correct. That is good. Oh, did I... Did you Bull put that right mountain the there? Where did, that, where did that mountain come from, Nick? Are you telling me I'm putting mountains now? I can't even oh, do that. Oh, Bull. Shit. How much you want to make a bet? I can throw a football over them mountains. You just did. I just saw it. It looked like a football, too. Oh, here well, we go. You have bigger problems. Yeah, you're kind of nice. you're kind of melting my uh, mm, like where okay. I live. Well, I think I have problems now too. We've all got problems. Oh, oh. that's real bad for business. Just drop the, business. the freaking tower onto the ground. Oh, my oh, business. My. Yes. You're all up in my business oh, right Nick. now. I'm all up in your grill trying to get you to a ho hotel. Don't take me to the hotel. Oh, that's not ready to go. I'm not. Okay. Uh, this isn't ending well for me, is it? Well, it's not necessarily over yet. It's pretty close. It's not looking the great, I'll admit. Big ol' laser right up in my face. The laser is its problematic, yeah. Oh, you're you are the luckiest man on planet Earth Well, I right mean, now. it's not luck. I timed it. <laughs> that doesn't kill you in one hit? That seems like... Uh, Farcical to me. Why would that ever? Did you call me a popsicle? <laughs> it said it was very farcical. Don't call me a farcical. It's not a kimchi flavor. I'm not down with it. Kimchi. I say it like that, it sounds like a person's name. Yeah, it could totally be a person's name. No, even no, be no, 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 no. No, that's just that's just a regular tower. That wasn't even a shield that time. Ooh. And GG. All right. Whew, close. Close. You almost, like, took down all the ground yeah. around me. Don't call it a comeback, because it wasn't a comeback. <laughs> That's pretty... Oh, it said, like, visit the unlock store. I, I might like to... There's an unlock it. store now? Well, I would like to buy more slots or something if there is an unlock store. Oh, this is the game where we've got to do invites every time. I forgot yeah. about that. It's kind of silly. I gotta talk to Mr. Cannon Brawl about getting that sorted out. <clears throat> I wonder when this will come out of early access. Because it's been on early access for like... I mean, games take a while to produce. But it's been on early access for like over a year. Yeah, there was a point when I was kind of corresponding with the developer of this. And then I kind of stopped. So I really should get back in contact. 
Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to go, uh, go for weird experimental types of stuff now, or? I think you should try a rushdown strat, Nick. Okay, we can do rushdown. Offensive strat seems to work very well. Alright, it's sweet trash talk. You don't have the guts to beat me. Once this is over, I can help you with repairs. I'll drop you. What, excuse me? That's what my guy said. He said, I'll drop On you. On my screen, he didn't say, I'll drop you. That's that's quite rude. He's calling you like a cell phone carrier or something. I'll drop your service. I'm not happy with it. Jeez, that's... that's uh, Who do you think you are? Verizon? Forza Verizon. Oh, that's the new one, right? That's uh, Forza 6. Uh, yeah, Verizon that's, that's Forza Verizon 2, actually. Do they even add features to the Forza games anymore? Or do they just... I don't know why time. people are so cynical about the Forza games, man. They're pretty good. Nah. I'm totally talking out of my ass. I have no idea. People are so negative this day and age. That was a Killers album, you know. Day and age? Day and age, oh, yeah. They also had Hot yeah. Fuss. I remember that, yeah. And Sam's Town. Live Banana 89. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride, Mr. Live Welcome Banana. Lion Pride. Lion Banana. Oh, Nick, that shield. Trash that, talking my shield? That bomb, though. That's gonna hurt. Can't stop it. Stop building shields! That's all I have. Should have turned up my resolution so I could actually see how high I'm shooting here. This guy thinks he can stop the Twitch bomb. I didn't say I could stop the Twitch bomb. Everybody knows you can't. Get that laser the fuck out of here. Nobody cares about your laser anymore. I care about it. It's doing me good. Laser meta is very old school. Okay. What is that, a fucking icicle? You keep calling me icicles and popsicles and kimchi and all kinds of weird stuff today. So here's my philosophy. Missile tower destroys shield tower. Yes, that's correct. Oh, you're giving me like a rock paper scissors scenario now. Right, I'm I'm working myself through the the permutations here. At least I think I am. What it what like I don't even know what what does that tower do, Nick? Which? That one you just shot at me that does like the. It's jump. a bomb. Oh okay. It's just a bomb. That's the whole thing. You can't stop it, Twitch bomb though. Right. So why do you keep trying? I don't know why you're trying. Just let it go. I'm just gonna shoot you with it. See? That's a bomb. That's so totally a bomb. It looks like a drill at the end, but it's not because it's a bomb. I'm not sure what's up with the drill thing because it looks like a bomb. No, it looks like a drill, but it is oh, a bomb. That's yeah. You got it backwards. Dark Kitty 13. Up down to the side. Welcome to the line, Brad. I thought it said Dark Pity for a second. And I was like, how am I going to say that? Also acceptable. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Meow. How are these things still alive? That's what I want to know. Because of my shields, mostly. Yeah? I know what to do with shields. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I took a lot of pleasure in that, I'll admit. Uh, stop pleasuring yourself. Alright, so break that. That makes it hard to build. Toss, like, one of these bad boys up here. How are you always ahead of me offensively? I don't understand what I'm doing that differently. I think it's my APM. Because I've been playing so much Counter-Strike lately. APM's okay. Yeah, but what's your effective APM? I don't have that stat in front of me. Oh, yeah. Jared gonna... Kruger, On. how do you subscribe so frequently? You gotta teach me your secrets, but for now, up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Is he subscribing more than once a month now? I don't know, but I, I, I seem to remember him subscribing more often. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's another subscriber as well. Oh, Jake Rees, thank you very much for your Counter-Strike tutorials like that. That, are, that are helping me out a great deal. Not be so bad at nuke. I don't even know why I'm shooting down this way anymore. This is just a waste of my time. Slow playing too much here. Okay, uh, have them all. I don't care. How did you get to build something up there? That's what I want to know. Because I built it as you were destroying my other shit. Strikes me as not okay. It's completely fine. All right, take it slow. Oh, what? 
Jarrett Kruger just subscribed. Thank you very much and welcome to the Rock Quarry. I also had some donations, but I'm going to read those in a second because i got to scroll around. <clears throat> and right now I am knee deep in uh, bombs and stuff. Oh, that one's looking pretty good. Yeah, so I'm terrible. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's aggressive, man. I thought I was being equally as aggressive as you, but somehow you always get the upper hand, and I don't quite understand it. I think whoever places their turret first is at a, a big advantage. Those buildings wouldn't blow up so quickly if they were made of adobe. You're exactly right. Wait, isn't it the other way around? I don't remember. Isn't adobe just mud? Excuse like me. a very profitable franchise of uh, art tools. All right, Nick. I uh, I unlocked a new oh, thing. Oh yeah! Well, congrats. RWS two hundred two. Thank you for the subscription as well. All right, I'm gonna challenge you again. Uh, okay. where are you here? There you are. Thank you. Thank you a third time to Alex Plays Fire Emblem for another <laughs> donation of a dollar sixty nine. I accidentally donated twice, so I figured I'd go for a third time this stream. Oops. <laughs> A, a nice mistake and also care bear 827 donated a dollar 69 i uh, follow your youtube channel first stream been able to catch but keep up the awesome work thank you very much a genuinely nice comment thank you is this new building more expensive it's five more expensive okay fair enough someone said they want me to do a drill strat i can try to do it do i have drill i thought i had drill there's frost i don't think i have drill do you have the frog cannon yet? I, are you, I don't know if you're messing with me. Go froggy style. <laughs> Should we try that? And, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Max Jax Smacks. Great name. Up down to the side and welcome to the lion pride. I'm going to try like a super weird strategy this time, Nick. All right. Good luck. Here we go. All right. I don't know how this is going to work. You so many wins. <laughs> I think shield towers are kind of bad, at least for my strategy. I don't think I've used them since, like, Prince. the, the second. Well, that's the... I only have two units. I have Prince and Princess. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, I think Prince might actually be better. The healing seems really good. Than what I use. Hi, chat. Just subscribed as well. So, Got a you, I mean, high chat. you know what comes next. Yeah, probably people not writing anything and hitting spacebar and then enter. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, I actually think I want to try like this. So, this is my okay. weird strategy. That's You're going to laser through oh, straight yeah. ahead. Yeah, you got it. Holy locks. That's a good name. I like it. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Try one of these, like, here. Okay, thank you. You've actually opened up a path for me to go get some stuff. Oh, yeah. And Louis the Twelfth, up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. You just pop that sucker open for me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, I, I, see, the, I see the situation we've got in front of us here. Oh, why am I so slow? Oh, that hurts. That's why I bought one of these mountain makers. What the heck? Why did that explode so quickly? Make your mountain. You ready? I'll make your bubbles bounce. I'll make your bubbles <laughs> bounce. Let's go. You gonna make my bubbles bounce? I might make your bubbles bounce, Nick. Kind of excited by that. I don't understand how these bombs work. I'm just gonna be honest about it. It's because you're trying to stop them, and you can't. That's it's very simple. Oh, I see. <laughs> you can't stop the Twitch bomb. Like, maybe if I shoot them up here, it's a little better. I don't know. Yeah, probably should have used the Prince this whole time. He's pretty good, huh? I think that's huh? going to make a big difference in my play now. I don't. Okay. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. That's what I said. The looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand, or so <laughs> oh, I have yeah. read. That is hot. My baby fits me like a flesh tuxedo. 
Right, I'd asshole. like to sink her with my pink torpedo. Big bottom. Big bomb bomb. That's the whole impetus for that joke. Yeah, singing it was good enough, honestly. I don't know why I had to go that far. <laughs> it's a great song. I like it. Spinal Tope. Yeah, they're a serious band of serious musicians. I think I might have fucked myself on this one. There's just no way for me to get through that shield. Well, there's a few ways. I can't seem to, to swing it, though, can I? Oh, my bomb just exploded on the top of it there. Well, I wonder if I can maybe at least do something like this in the interim period. Let's get rid of all this garbage land here. I don't want it. No more of that. Nick, that, that garbage land land is like a really important part of my overall strategy, so if you could just... Oh, okay, stop shooting your bombs directly into the thing. I got it. Might as well no more garbage this. land. I need that garbage land, Nick. Whoa, the laser does break through the shield a little? Just a little, though. Okay, so I've got this whole top area. I'm just going to use this for my advantage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I lost my diamonds. I like my shiny right. diamonds. They're not that important. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll fall on that grenade. Mining cam totally just stopped that bomb for me. That shield, uh, that's what I get for saying shield turrets are useless, I suppose. It's okay. We all make mistakes. There you go. Congratulations, Nick. Yeah, first win in a long-ass time. Well done. GG. That was a GG. I have learned that, uh, that bomb strategy is, is just god-awful, I think. Oh, now I got Drill Tower. Yay! I guess sometimes some of them are unlocked with uh, losses. RWS202 said, NL, I didn't get a welcome to the Lion Pride. Well, you know what? Fuck you. No. Up down to the side, welcome That's to the mean. Lion Pride. That would, that would be rude. It would be quite rude. Doobie doobie doop. Did I shout out already, uh, Corey H827 for a donation of 569? Hey, love your YouTube channel. It's the first stream I've been able to make it to. Anyway, keep the awesome work. Thank you very much. And also, another donation from Annie, your superstar, $3.69. Annie, your fact, when a territorial dispute occurs, anteaters vocalize SWAT and can sometimes sit on or even ride the back of their opponents. They also compete for the fastest Ape Escape 2 speedrun. Yep, that's legit. That's all legit. Very strange world we live in, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> it's more my style. So what kind of strategies you you think you might go for today? Fuck the ground. Okay. It's fuck the ground strat. I'm not sure I know what that means. But that's okay. You're not meant to tell me what that means. Yeah. You got to adapt on the fly. Yep. Marty McFly. Is this the same level? It's similar. Once this is over, I gotta help you with repairs. My trusty wrench shall win the day. Oh shit, you started already. <laughs> it's APM, man. I was going for a menu movement oh, there and I yeah. didn't quite pull it off. Who just subscribed? I missed it. Cox Strangler 69. All right. You gotta do what you gotta do. You do what would, do whatever. Good times. Stiffens your balonies, do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Jack the Snack just subscribed. Thank you very much for your subscription. Welcome, and I am a fan of snacks and, and also Jack's. He's right. Remember he when is. it was Bob Day yesterday? That was fun. I remember that. I like Bob Day. A lot more Bobs than I expected to meet. There it is. Okay. Where is it? There? Noted. All right, I'll just kind of smash into it. That's okay. Okay, not seeing your strategy just yet. All becomes clear in time, Nick. Okay. You're very lucky. Am I? A little bit, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Did you just miss? I hit the ground. I don't know if I'd classify that as a miss necessarily, but... Certainly wasn't the kind of hit I was looking for. Yeah, in this world there's hits and misses. You never know which one you're gonna so get. So quick. So lucky. No, I saw you were about to fire. I could hear it charging up. I'm like, all right, let's put a shield in the way. That's all. No. Oh, here comes the freaking Twitch bomb. All right. Good luck. You're gonna try to take it out this time. No. Shoot, shoot! It missed. Good attempt, though. Yeah, yeah, I think I can get it maybe in the future. That hurts like fucking crazy, though. That's what it's designed to do, man. Oh, man. I've this botched, is the only purpose. Watch this one miserably. You fucking terraformed the whole landscape here. Oh, no, he's going for the... He's going for the KO. It's gonna be a bit yet. I don't think I'm going yet. I gotta get that Twitch bomb stopped, though. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. What is that, like a five shield? It's a maximum upgrade shield, man. Maximum upgrade is five? Investments, no, it's not five. It's, it's when it's level three, it gives you five tiers or four or something. Absolute farcical nature. Uh-oh. Ooh, that, that landed. Gotten, that landed hard. Oh, it just got very real all of a sudden. Break. Just and one of those days. here we go. Okay. Is it feeling like a freight train? Oh, direct hit. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, you blew it up? I blew up the Twitch congrats. bomb, Nick. Brad Ooh, Burst 69 just subscribed. Someone told me you can't stop the Twitch bomb. I uh I beg to differ. Alright, well we'll talk about that some more in seven seconds. Bad shot, but Yeah, it's just a bad shot. Alright, whittle down these shields. Is that another Twitch bomb? Jesus. Okay, be cool here. Gotta have a backup plan or the Twitch bomb's gonna fail. Alright, be cool here. Oh, I think I might have fucked up my laser shot. Oh, that feels so nice. How did the, the Twitch bomb, it hurt me. Yeah, you detonated it as area of effect, man. Otherwise, a total waste of everything. Well, that was what I was hoping for, wasn't it? Well, I don't want to waste everything. You do. I don't want to waste for your life to be over, but I guess I will. <laughs> Alright. This is all or fucking nothing right now. James Bond. All or nothing. Hmm. Okay. We have learned something, though. Yeah, that you can stop the Twitch you, bomb. You can stop the Twitch bomb. Mm, nope, can't stop it. I feel like you really can't stop it, though. All right. The earlier we detonate this one, the better. Okay. There's another one, huh? Oh, what was it? Do you blow up my diamonds? <laughs> May not blow up my diamonds. Those are very important to my overall strategy. Oh, that's uh, bad. Wow, you are right on top of these switch bombs, man. I hate that you're creating about a hundred thousand of them every second. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this is what it feels like for me when I'm playing. I'm always on the defensive, and now you get to be on the defensive today. Do I? Well, uh, no, because you're actually totally targeting my switch bombs right now. <laughs> that's very offensive to me. Interesting thing about the defensive. Uh, I don't like. I don't like how this is going all of a sudden. Yeah. Gravity is a very powerful force, as we're uh, noticing here. Okay. This is a lot of bombs that are happening all of a sudden. How about we uh, talk about something else? Like a second Twitch bomb, maybe. At least one more, if not several. 
Hey, Twitch Mom, you want to, like, get your power-ups going, please? All right, no more things for you. It's all right. You all of them either. go away. No more. No more of those either, please. Oh. Okay, shields. Shields, please. Twitch bomb. Now you your last chance, man. Just land one. Oh, it's so close. Oh, shit. That's going to kill me. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, okay. What is a Twitch bomb, says Fred Durst <laughs> in your chat. Ooh. That was risky. 